we've had a lot of well not a lot of rain but we had some good rain lately and since it's winter and stuff we got all these dead leaves all over the place and I just spotted this and it gives me an idea so a worm there I'm gonna forage around and find some bait I found an old night crawler container a couple of caterpillars some worms like weird half earthworm things uh, uh, yeah so I looked all over my backyard my front yard flipped over uh, step stones and stuff like that and really didn't find a whole lot the main spot that I found everything was in that first spot the pile of wet leaves but the places that had the most moisture uh, and stuff for them to eat like the, the rotting leaves and all that that's where I was finding everything so I don't have a whole lot of bait here but I, I think I've got enough to do what I want to do I'm not gonna be out there for very long anyway so uh, yeah I'm gonna head to a spot that I've been to a couple of times I've never done a video on it and uh, I don't really like the idea of copying other youtubers but John B went to this spot caught a three pounder and then uh, every every youtuber in town has been there since then but I figured it'd be a good spot where you know it the sun's coming out it's getting kind of bright but there's also still a chance of some rain so it's covered protected and there's a decent amount of fish there I mean there's John B did catch a three pounder there but I don't I don't think I'm gonna catch a three pounder it's mostly gonna be small fish there is a handful of carp maybe I can pull a carp out on what I have so I'm gonna get over there and try it out yeah it is 80 degrees right now so 80 degrees and humid so my glasses keep fogging fogging up so I'm gonna try to get there without going blind so let's get to it all right the water's flowing down up there's the spot where I was talking about being but the water flows down under all the concrete, comes out right here, and there's a decent little deep hole right here. A couple of feet deep anyway. And uh, there's gotta be something hanging out in there, even though I mean, the water's pretty clear and I don't see anything, but there's gotta be something in there. So, uh, also, I picked up this thing and I found a bullet weight, but actually it's just a bullet. Uh, it doesn't look like it's actually been fired, because a fired bullet would have a lot more damage than that. It looks like somebody pried it out of a shell, so. Should have brought my polarized glasses, but I forgot again. Water's not quite as clear as it usually is, but that's probably from all the rain. we go that did not take very long at all what do I got it's a little bass on the, and I got to keep my bait look at that it's a little Guadalupe bass no it's not a Guadalupe is it yeah it's a little quad and he's not even hooked look at that that's freaking awesome that was cool did not take me very long and I got to keep my caterpillar so awesome Let's push it back down on the hook and try again All right, so I am out of bait, so I need to regroup and forage for some more. 
I, I thought I had enough there to catch a couple of fish, but I guess I was wrong. I only let, I only got one fish. So I'm gonna start turning over rocks and stuff. And right here is why you need to be careful messing around in Texas. That, I don't know what kind of snake that is, but I just turned over this rock and there's a snake under it. He's not moving though. I don't know what type of snake that is, but let me see if I can get a good view of him here, but I don't want to get too close. It's probably just a water snake. It doesn't look like a grass snake or anything to me. It doesn't look venomous. I, I just hope I can find some, some bait. Because that's the whole point of this video, is foraging for bait. So, uh, now I gotta keep an eye out for those. It's, we're in January, I should not have to be worrying about looking for snakes, but. Okay, so it is now the next day. Uh, I ran out of bait there, mostly because I kept getting snagged and the snags were just pulling it off the hook. I did catch that one little bass and um, I was going to go because my mom lives in that area. I was going to go by her house look around for some more bait. Uh, but when I got there, I somebody left her gate open and her dogs got out. So I had to drive around for about an hour to find them. So uh, I didn't get to do any more fishing yesterday. So today uh, I got home from work uh, probably about an hour ago. I relaxed a little bit. And then I looked around in my backyard again and I found some more of those little half inch worms, whatever those earthworm looking things were. And uh, a bunch more of the caterpillars this time. Yesterday the caterpillars what I caught that one bass on. Um, I found a, a decent amount of those. So I think, I didn't, find, I didn't find a whole lot of bait today, but I don't have a whole lot of time to fish anyway. So I think it'll work out. I just need to go. I'm going to the closest place to me, so uh, it's probably just going to be sunfish for the rest of this video, but we'll see. And still, catching something on stuff I find in my backyard, that's pretty much the point. It doesn't really matter what the species was. And I did already catch a bass, so I'm heading out that way now. Alright, with all the rain that we've had lately, this place is going to be muddy and slick, so I can't get down too close to the water. But I should be all right up here on the bank. There's looks like there's gonna be there should be plenty of fish in this area. Let me uh, let me claim this picnic table real quick. Now what I actually had a fish on yesterday would have been the like one of these caterpillars, caterpillars and some kinds of worms. I don't know what all they are, so I'm gonna go with the caterpillar first. Had a bite there, but it didn't get the hook. I might have to bend this hook and turn it into a smaller hook, actually. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Little bitty green sunfish. Nope. Not a green sunfish. It's usually what I catch around here, but this is different. Really dark coloring on him. This one's almost, I mean, this is almost black. I've never seen one quite colored like this. Colored, colored quite like this. See, I'm all about fishing on a budget and doing things cheaply, so this is the cheapest possible way to do it. And I got another one. It's a better one. Oh, look at that one. different species it's already two species today this one's colored real dark too <laughs> one caterpillar two fish and he's still on there all right now I'm gonna try one of these earthworm things it's a big fat one
whole bunch of uh, chopped branches and stumps and stuff here. Uh, don't see anything there, but this would be definitely the area you want to come and look for bait and find worms and grubs and caterpillars under all these logs. Or like yesterday, you find some snakes too. Actually, when I was looking today, I did find another snake, but it was just a little grass snake. Oh man. There is a half decent bass right over there. And on that, I'm gonna go with another caterpillar. So, so warm and humid over here. Oh, and I got a fish for that. I, I, I'm having a hard time seeing things because my glasses keep fogging up. What do we got here? Another sunfish. Same one as the last one. Same species as the last one. A little bit smaller though, I think. Got whatever, something was picking at it, so I set the hook on it and I got me a little fish. Another one of these little sunfish. That's cool. I would rather, really rather get that bass. That bass was interested in it at that time. He actually followed this fish. Hang on, I ain't nowhere for you to go there. There you go. That's two on this worm. What's cool about these caterpillars is they're pretty tough too. Once they're on there, they don't really come off too easy. So I'm able to catch a handful of fish on each one. Until I get snagged. And when I get snagged, I usually lose it like I did right now. Fresh caterpillar on. Got him. What is it? It's another sunfish probably. Ah, here we go. Species number three. This is a green sunfish. This is what's mostly out here. Green sunfish. They have a slightly bigger mouth. And they eat everything oh right as my camera came on I got another bite and I set the hook on him this one's bigger but it's still not a bass it's another it's a much bigger green sunfish much bigger than the last than everything else I've caught today Got him. Probably another one. Oh, this is a another one of those uh, red breast, I think. Maybe a long ear. I don't think it's really a long ear. I think it's a red breast. But I'm not too sure about sunfish sometimes. But there, that's like four fish on this worm alone, maybe. Three or four fish already on this worm. Another sunfish. And he got to eat half my worm, so there we go. Getting a good amount of bites on these caterpillars. On the other, whatever those other worms are, haven't actually gotten any bites on, so maybe I should try one over here. Oh, there's a fish. Another sunfish. This one's going kind of crazy. But once I lose this caterpillar, I think I'm going to have to uh, uh, switch up to that, whatever that other kind of worm was.
Not getting any bites over there. It should be stacked with fish like it is over here. Like this. Oh, that one slipped off and got away right at the last second, but I still got my worm on there. I was trying to check my phone, but I think I just set the hook left-handed on a fish. Yep, I sure did. Another green sunfish. Ouch. I was trying to give that one a nice soft release, but he finned me at the same time, so I couldn't grab him to release him gentler. Okay. Trying to check my phone while my line's out there, and I keep getting bites. There we go again. Setting the hook left-handed today. This is a little bluegill or something. I think. Oh, I still got my worm on there. <laughs> Good numbers on just this one worm. So these caterpillar things are great bait. They're like using night crawlers, but they're tougher. They stay on the hook longer. Did another left-handed hook set there. Let's see, still on. I'm actually getting better at setting the hook left-handed than right-handed. It's another one of these. I'm not sure how how well you can see it. It's starting to get dark. You're almost there. It's a little hard for me to step down there where you landed, but. Almost there. A couple more flips. There you go. Oh, there's one on there. <laughs> I've already lost track of how many fish I've caught. Most of them are coming out to be about this size. A couple of different species. This is a species number four, actually. This is a straight up bluegill. The other ones were red ear, maybe a long ear, red breasted. And a green sunfish. So that's that's a bluegill right there. All right, so there you go. Uh, backyard baits. The caterpillars were definitely effective. I caught a ton of little fish on those, and a bass yesterday. And I, I, I think if I was throwing something else, I could have caught a couple of bass today. But I was trying to use these baits. Uh, whatever those little earthworm things were. They really looked like earthworms to me, but they were really short, like half an inch long. I don't know what they were, but couldn't get anything to bite on them. So, uh, caterpillars, you, the inchworm caterpillar looking things, they're smooth, they're not furry. Those things that you find curled up under logs or rocks or something in your backyard, those work pretty well. So, yeah, if you're looking for some free bait, there you go. Thanks for watching. See you next time.